a frustrating leg for us. We were, never felt that we were ever fast. And the best we could ever do was hold, even. And we had two days with Brunel where it was you know, gains and losses of one or two degrees over 24 hours. And then you'd lose 30 or 40 miles. And it was each transition and it was and it was just changing modes. I don't know if we changed modes quick enough or didn't set up quick enough in the mode change. Um, and it's tough on these boats because you know you can go upwind and downwind with the same sail. So a mode change is moving the weight, changing the amount of cant you're using, just re-trimming that same sail. So it's, it's subtle changes but makes massive, massive differences. And, and I think our VMG running, we struggled and we've always struggled and it was just highlighted in this league. You know, the, the critical parts of the race, you had to be fast VMG running and we weren't. Um, yeah, and then you know, then you come back and start, you know, you get within 10 or so miles and then lose it all again. So it's been frustrating. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, we're here. We've managed to get one back on the finish line. That gave us a bit of a bit of a boost right at the end. It wasn't great for for Dee and her crew. I mean, they've had an awesome leg and they've just slowly been whittled down in the last corner of the race, really. So. A bit, bit bummed for them, um, but that's racing, I guess. Yeah, have a sleep and then, then get, get back into it. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, um, mostly amongst ourselves, just talking about what we learnt. Uh, we experimented a lot coming in. Um, we had nothing else to gain, really, or to lose, so we just tried different modes and did a lot of sort of testing, different setups, and we think we've made some gains on that. Um, but until you're back next to someone again racing them, it's, it's hard to know for sure.